welcome to Prospect Channel TV. Thanks for subscribing to this channel. If you have not, please kindly do so by pressing the subscribe button. Thank you very much once again. God bless you. The trending news at this hour says, Detained EFCC chairman blows hot. Says Malami Justice Salami proving nonsense and all that. After 10 days in police custody while facing an investigative panel, the suspended EFCC boss has described his ordeal as the one of the hazards of fighting corruption. His problem began when he was arrested by police and dragged before a sitting panel inside the Asorog Villa to answer allegations contained in a petition against him. He now claims the allegations are meant to tarnish his image. They are nonsense Malami to the nation after his release, July 15th. It's okay to take his statements as that of an angry man, especially considering the personalities sweating over the farago of nonsense. The AGF Justice Minister Abubakar Malami submitted the allegations to President Muhammad Buhari, who decided to invite a former president of the Court of Appeal, retired Justice Ayo Salami, considered the nonsense. He insisted all our trumped up allegations against him and the EFCC, and that he never stole or diverted or converted fund for his own use. Malami, whose ministry supervised 60 EFCC, has said Malami launched 550 million bought properties in Dubai and acted like a, a standalone. What I have gone through in the case of Dog Eats Dog but I see it as one of those risks of the job. We must not give up in any way, Magu said. So far, he has not only hazarded his job, but those of the 12 directors Malami announced has suspended by Bowari on Wednesday. He, however, remained as stubborn as he has been accused of. Whether I am EFCC chairman or not, the anti-corruption war must continue, he said, thanking Nigerians for their support. The support has been pouring in form of a proof of Malami himself, whom Sahara reporters has exposed as corrupt too, with series of stories uh, detailing uh, multi a million naira properties the justice minister has built for himself, his sons and wife in Quebec State, Abuja and Kano. So, hello viewers, what's your take on this? Let me take this again. He said, whether I am EFCC chairman or not, this is my good talking, the anti-corruption war must continue. He said, Thanking Nigerians for their support. Okay. You see, uh, uh, my own view here is, uh, <clears throat> I myself, personally, I don't understand the, the, the war of this uh, corruption in Nigeria, how this administration fight this corruption, you understand? I don't understand it because you hear we hear, we uh, we see on the television where they said this thing, this person did so 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 thing, looted so 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 amount of money. At the end of the day, nothing is being done about it. Even when something is being done about it, before you open your uh, close your eyes, open it, they've already released the person. You understand? So all these things they are just to me. I feel they are just using. They are just using it to to deceive us and all that because they're not going to do anything. They're not going to prove anything. You understand? So Nigeria must know this. If Magu is innocent, the partner should be made to say so and clear his name without wasting our precious time because they are fond of doing this. 
After all, he's either guilty or not. So they should just come up and tell us what. Is he guilty or not? You understand? So we are tired because this is very, very painful that people you, <laughs> you're supposed to say, wow, let me vouch for this person. This kind of person now, somebody is coming to tell you that he's corrupt. Even the person that is saying one is corrupt. The person also, according to them, is corrupt. So you see, these people are just exposing themselves. But the, the most painful thing about it is whether they expose themselves. So Nigeria, no, we don't know. The matter still remains, say, these people still they work out freely because we know, say, the law is not for them. You understand? The law of this country is not for this elite. It's not for the leaders. That is the truth. But make one person see one thing now. Say one, one poor man now goes to 200,000 naira. They go say they sentence that person seven years imprisonment. But these people, they will look billions of naira. Nothing is being done about it. And we dare. They there is we they hear they smile, they suffer, they smile. Hunger won't kill Nigerians. But these people, they are busy looting our money, storing it in their houses, and you will go out there, no money for Nigerians to spend. This is very, very bad. So if this government wants to uh, uh, actually prove the corruption or prove anybody they said is corrupt, let, let, let there be consequences. It's not by you just saying that this person did this, this person did that, we are proving this. At the end of the day, the person is working out freely. That is not good enough. Let there be consequences so that every other person, we take example from that. Let there be a laid down consequence that if this thing happened, if you do this thing, this is what is going to happen to you. You know? When this thing is, when, when it's happening like this, you see that every other person, we are just themselves because you wouldn't want to form victim of that. You understand? It's not by, there's no law, you know, like whatever, whatever. This is not too good at all. Okay, that is just my view on this. Let's hear from Nigerians who, are, who have reacted to this. Someone said yeah, Nigerian must, must uh, know that these people, they are just wasting our time because nothing is going to be done about this. Okay, someone say, yes, sir. I think, I believe he's talking to Magu. You should accept, accept it coming. Expect it coming. We are surrendered by wicked people using our resources to enrich themselves. Blood of innocent that lost their life because of their selfishness. We ask them and their generation, Mr. Magu, long life, he said. Okay, someone said that yeah, none of them is innocent. They are sharing national cake through corruption. Oh, yeah, someone said that yeah, you can't find guilty in anybody if everybody is the same. But that is the truth. Okay, someone said that yeah, let him, Malami, face his consequences by proving himself to Nigerians is innocent. M Malami touched the fire. Nigeria are waiting and are watching patiently. Okay, someone said there, yeah, neither Magu nor Malami is free from corruption. Indeed, it is a case of dog eat dog, <laughs> jacket and henna, black kettle and pot. Okay, someone said there, yeah, Magu, you should better wait till after the end of the investigation before you blow out. Okay, then we'll not know whether you are guilty or not, they said. Okay, somebody said that Malami himself is a big thief. He shaded Mina, who embezzled police pension fund. Malami should face the same investigation. Where did he cut the money used to establish for his son? His son buying 200 million Naira Mercedes Benz. Where did he, his son got the money from? Okay. This is very, very bad. Malami also should be proved, period. President Buhari was not sincere fighting corruption. Hmm. All right. Magu enjoyed the same measure you meted out to others that you are now enjoying. Okay, so hello, guys. I'm going to drop it here for now. What's your view on this? What do you think about this? 
want to hear from you, share your views.